hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel i'm glad you savvy i want to show you how you can achieve easy brows uh, these are the brushes we're going to need angle brush a flat brush this is a brow pomade from Hega and esther then la girl pro concealer to clean up the brows i'm using the color phone and uh, this is a damp beauty blender i'm going to use that to blend out the concealer so let's get started so now i'm priming my brows with the becca primers to make the brows last longer and to prevent oil this will make your brows last really really long you can skip this step it's optional and then this is the setting powder i'm going to be using this is from Movan beauty this also helps to mattify my brows so that no oil is picking through throughout the day so you dab on press on press on the setting powder and then I dust off dust off the excess so I'm using the spoolie now to brush my brows I'm brushing them upwards So now it's time to outline. First, you outline your brows. You give, you can outline whatever shape you want, thick, thin brows, whatever your preference is. You outline first. I'm using that brow pomade I showed you earlier on. After the outline, I'm just trying to fill in using the brow pomade. I'm filling in sparse, sparse. Um, sorry this pass <laughs> portions so now i'm feeling i'm doing more fill fill ins with uh, a brow pencil this one is from beauty line by dd it's a nigerian brand very good and precise and can give you natural brows also so i'm brush brushing 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 to remove excess brow pomade products and pencil products doing more fillings because as you brush you might have some open gaps so you can go back in and fill in with your pencil so now I want to use a brow a brow tint products to make the brows lighter and more natural this one I used here is from MAC and girl boy I'm brushing it in brushing it in so the the brow tint it gives you a natural finish on your brows and then it also helps your brows to stay in place it keeps your brow in place also for longer periods of time so i'm working on the second brow now i'm just filling in using my pencil Filling the, the sparse area of your brows, filling the sparse area, and brushing out, brushing the brows. So I'm going in with my pencil to create artificial hair strokes at the front of the brows. Just to give the illusion of more baby hairs on the, on the front of the brows. And apply the brow tint. 
and brush it out with your spoolie. You brush until you achieve the shade that you desire. The more you brush, the lighter it becomes. So when you achieve the shade you want, you can stop br brushing, out, brushing them out. So now I'm going to use the I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm using the shade Fawn for the front from the for the uh, outer parts of the brows as it's close to my foundation shade so that it blends in and, and look comes out natural. Then for the arc of my brows, I'm going in with LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. You can see it's lighter so it will help the brows the arc pop more so i'm going back in with fawn with the shade fawn for that outer edge so that it blends in well with my with the rest of the other part of my face so you apply more concealer on the lid and blend and then you blend I'm using the damp beauty sponge now to blend to blend it in so you blend 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 tap 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 So I've used the color, the shade fawn for the front part. I'm using warm honey now for the arc. I usually use the angle brush for the front part of the brows as it gives you that straight precise line that you want and then I go in with a flat brush for the for the tail part of the brows so that I can achieve the curves that I desire so now I'm going to use the flat brush and the concealer the shade fawn for the upper Part of the brows to clean up the upper part of my brows. I'm using fawn as it's close, very very close to my foundation shade, so that it blends in. Uh, if you intend to just um, wear brows for the day, another trick is to use just your foundation to clean up the upper part of your brows, so that it comes out flawless and blends very well with your skin if you're not wearing full face makeup so i'm trying to adjust the brows I'm trying to adjust the brows to make them look as similar and as equal as possible So in the process of blending out your concealer, if you might lose some of the coverage, you can go back in with more concealer, straighten your lines, make your lines sharper, and then you blend again. My brows usually take me between anywhere from um, 5 to 8 minutes depend on how serious I want the brows for that day. So now I'm going in with uh, the concealer I used for cleaning out the, the outer part of my brows, the shade foam. I've used that to brush on my brows because I wanted it to be to still go more natural. So I'm trying to fill in the parts, the empty spaces with my pencil. So now I'm just going to blend out and clean. 
clean up to make the line straighter please if this video was helpful please like share subscribe to my youtube channel thank you